CDs is rated five stars by Gordon Gourmet. So I tried your latest concoction. It worked well. Better than I was expecting. <laughs> that is most gratifying to hear. Then the name was well chosen. Miraculously, the Miracle Nectar works. I have succeeded, but I cannot rest on my laurels. I shall give you another task that is something of a diversion. In science, sometimes you must step off the path of pure research and hack into the jungle of commerce. What are you talking about? A diversion? You're starting to lose me with your metaphors. My research requires expenditures, flasks, buns and burners, liability insurance, etc. I need new revenue streams. You want me to help you make money, is that right? Bluntly put, but in essence, yes. Exactly. I want you to be a spokesperson for my latest product. This is the concoction that you previously tested. I'm rebranding it as the Nectar of the Gods. Catchy, don't you think? It's yours for free, and I can even offer a guarantee. What do you want me to do with it exactly? You already know it works, so you don't need me to just test it, do you? I want you to participate in the battle arena. Then, in battle, you must drink the nectar in front of the entire crowd. If all those people see how well it works for you, then they'll come flocking to buy their own. Exactly. They'll see you drink the potion and think that it will make them as beautiful and powerful as you. Oh, how they'll be clamoring to give me their gill. And it's all for the sake of science, right? Science, would you? Ah, oh, yes, yes, of course, for science. That goes without saying.
This is not the hour for challengers, I'm afraid. Come back later when the moon... Particular. She doesn't sell her tears to just anybody. The souls of disbelievers will sink into the chaos and will be ravished by the goddess of death. <laughs> oh, I'd pay anything to see those tears. Where's the cathedral? I lost the front door. those dangerous heretics.
Every day the chaos expands further, and the monsters grow more powerful. Sister, I, I hope you land. can make. Of course, honey. It's been so long. You seem to be doing well. Compared to Luxarian, things aren't as convenient, but it's not so bad. Come on, I'll show you around the village. Oh, and remember, don't stray too far from the path. It's not safe. Thank you, dear. I'll be sure to remember that. I can't think of a bond stronger than the love between a mother and child. Are you all right? I used to have family, too. A sweet little thing who I adopted as my own. How I loved her. Where is she now? She's gone. But she was the sweetest thing, always following me around. Her fur was the softest of all animals. Fur? What? You mean... Oh, wait. You're talking about a pet. A dog, yes. But she was so much more than that. Her name was Clove. She was my only family. One day I lost sight of her for a split second. And she just never came home. Even though I loved her like my own, she probably didn't feel the same about me.
secure. No substitutes. I need both chocoboros and... Chocoboros are a type of mushroom. The quickest way to get slug sweet. Are you interested in our collection? Back me up! for us. for us. Looks like you have the ingredients I need. Here you are. More chocobo for you. If you're ever in need of more medicine, just come see me.
You know, Rocky, there's a ruin. I hear people say, of course, the people. Welcome. I have to go. I ran across a man in Polta who was calling out your name. He seemed ill. I don't suppose you know him. What? You... you ran into Taylor? He was in a bad state, wasn't he? Remember the medicine I had you gather ingredients for? I didn't tell you, but it's for him. You haven't given it to him? Not yet, but I have a reason. You see, the problem with this medicine is that it only works immediately after it's been concocted. I thought of heading to Polta with the ingredients and brewing it there, but unfortunately the village doesn't have the facilities or equipment I need. So you're saying that you can only make it here, but at the same time he needs to take it soon after it's made. If you want, it's definitely worth giving it a shot. I might make it in time on my chocobo. What? You would do that? I can't promise I'll get there fast enough. But if you're willing... Of course I can! I'll bet my reputation that I... Curse? It's a curse.
me up. Cardesia sent me. Here, she brewed this for you. Did you say Cardesia? Oh, finally. I can say goodbye to this cursed life. You don't know how relieved I am. Just hush and drink it down. Please, can you tip it toward my mouth so I might have a sip? The goddess is waiting for me. What do you mean? Never mind that. Please, I just need a little taste. I've been waiting so long for this. <coughs> What? Oh, why am I still alive? Is this not poison? Poison? No, it's medicine. She didn't tell you anything, did she? Cartesia has felt nothing but hatred toward me all these years. And why wouldn't she? I killed the love of her life. So I told her, if she ever wanted to have her revenge, all she would need to do is to conjure up some poisonous brew and hand it to me. When you approached me with the concoction, I thought it was finally my time to die. If taste could kill, I'd be dead in a second. But this poison has no effect on me. She must be losing her touch. Why are you so convinced that she was trying to poison you? Maybe the medicine is what she said it was, something to lift the curse from you. Nope, no way. I've lived a long, long life. There's no way Cardesia would help me see more days. Not after what I did to her. Or perhaps her plan isn't to kill me, but to keep me alive so I can live with the guilt of my deeds. What do you think? How would I know? All I can say is that after taking her medicine, you're looking less pale. You seem to be breathing a lot easier, and your pain has gone. Am I wrong? Huh? Oh. Well, oh, I wish I knew what was going on inside her head. Why would she forgive me? I killed someone she loved. I thought... That, I, I thought that drinking this concoction would put us both out of our misery. It was supposed to kill me and bring her peace, knowing she had avenged his death. If you really want to die, no one's stopping you. But you're still here, which would suggest to me there must have been a reason for you to keep going. You've spent years with this burden of a curse. It must have been harder to live than die, but you did choose life. Maybe you were hoping Cardesia would try to kill you. That way you'd escape the pain. But not only that, you'd be free of your guilt. And that would be the only way that she could forgive you. But things have changed. She let you live with the pain, but now she's saved you. I think that means she's letting go of the past. That's not possible. How could she? Oh, what have I done? Cardesia, my old...
Have you found it? I speak... I don't have any solid clues, but I did come across some... Huh? Writing, you say? Exactly. I copied some of the more interesting-looking stuff. What do you think? Is there a chance that you can decode it? <laughs> of course I can. If, that is, I have the one and only copy of the legendary scriptures of the... Well, let me get this straight. If I want to decipher these mystery glyphs, I need a legendary book. A book so rare that only one of them exists? Not all things that exist have physical form. The scriptures of which I speak are inside my mind. Do you understand? I am, however, a capricious... Path. Vessel. Wings. What does it mean? These are just fragments. Single ideograms without context. Uh, uh, did you not see... Once you have all the... of the goddess. We serve only Etro. If you wish me to decipher the glyphs... Path. What does it mean? These are just... Uh, uh, did... Without all... Everyone who lived, one day we shall. We have not always lived, but then, as their almighty bit, some of my brothers.
Easy, easy. Just fragments. Uh, uh, did you? Once you have. Stands on sacred ground. Here. 